Three's Company for Medical Marijuana Users in Arkansas as the third dispensary opened today in Clinton. And THV 11's Roly Hoyt tells us this latest grand opening marked a major milestone by moving into a new part of the state. Roly? And Marlisa, the first two opened last month in Hot Springs. The long lines have been filled with people making long trips to be a part of history. The slightly shorter lines of customers today, they were celebrating the product's arrival and signs that convenience could finally be on the way. A celebration delayed by a two-year process and a three-hour computer glitch. In the end, happiness to get hands on medical marijuana. Yes, I'm very excited. We've been waiting two and a half years for this. Carmelita McMurray made the first legal marijuana purchase outside of Hot Springs. Arkansas Natural Products is the first dispensary to open outside Garland County. It means an easier time for a huge part of the state. I'm disabled and it hurts to drive all the way down there, so this is really amazing that they got here. Amazing for a couple of reasons that will make this Clinton store different. It is a little interesting because Van Buren County is a dry county. We can't sell liquor, but we're selling, now we're selling medical marijuana. Well, the whole uh, process of opening the uh, you know, medical cannabis uh, dispensaries has been a, a, a great thing. Owner David Beard showed no opening day jitters despite hangups with the state software needed to make sales. A little pizza and a fan helped keep the eager customers in good spirits. With IT trouble taken care of, Beard can already look forward to delivering relief for those eager customers. There's a, a need for it. There's a need to replace uh, the, the horrible opiates that are being used for things like pain management with something more natural. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make our customer service uh, such that people don't mind making a little extra drive uh, to come here to Clinton, even if there's a dispensary closer. Now about that computer glitch, all three dispensaries have experienced similar problems in the days and hours just before opening the doors. Dora Lee Chandler, the director of the Alcohol Beverage Control Board, said it worked during testing last week up in Clinton. Techies with the state helped clear up that problem and make that first sale around 1 o'clock.